hello guys my name is Gaurav and today I'm going to show you that how to add export buttons in your running data table so uh, basically uh, as you can see that I'm here at datatables.net which is the official site of for, for data tables and uh, you can find this uh, simple example HTML5 export buttons uh, you can find this URL uh, in the description below which is below the video section obviously and uh, as you can see these are the export buttons some export buttons and uh, this is the code so now if you are a fresher or if you are if you are totally new to uh, data tables then you should uh, try this example you should uh, go with this example for sure at least uh, first time um, so basically this is the code this is the code which plays which which plays the main role to uh, show up uh, to showing up uh, these uh, buttons these uh, export buttons <laughs> okay so uh, i would like to um, show you i would like to show you uh, an another method uh, which is uh, which works like a charm uh, is a data is a data table uh, is a sorry sorry <laughs> download builder okay uh, you can find this download builder at download section data tables dot net uh, slash download and uh, so now you can see here there are uh, many uh, labels to enable and disable the uh, functions uh, what you need and what you uh, what you want in your data tables so I just uh, uh, I just enabled the buttons label and uh, and connected uh, all uh, all labels flex ex export HTML export JS Jeep PDF make print view okay I just enabled this uh, labels then then I uh, then then this download uh, the, then this download builder just generated uh, these two links these two reference link link which is uh, this one is for uh, CSS CSS call and this one is for a JS call so you just need to uh, copy these uh, these both links and you just need to uh, put these links into your into your head section of your header file if you are using header.php file then you should uh, you should be uh, you should put this code uh, in your head section in your header file okay after after putting these links uh, into your head section you just need to go again to this page just need to uh, copy this link okay so now uh, if you already uh, if you already have the data table running in your site then you should have the initial initialization code uh, on the page where your data table is present so you can find this code you can find this initial initialization code uh, where your uh, data table is uh, um, initial initializing and you can uh, place this code there you can place this 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 is small code there which works like a charm obviously because this is the main code this the, if, if you if you if you don't place this code there then uh, buttons will not showing up okay so uh, okay uh, actually we are done with it you can see the uh, export buttons after doing this simply but now if you if you already have a page length menu option in your data table so you can uh, lost it so you can lost it right after the installing this export buttons because uh, these export buttons will take the position of your page length menu option and your page length menu options will be gone so to re-enable the uh, so to re-enable your page page length menu option again you just need to play with this method dom b f r t i p which actually this method works for your element works for your element arrangements okay so basically uh, if you want to re-enable your page length menu option to do that you just need to place l letter right after the B letter or right before the B letter if you put the uh, L letter right after the B letter the page length menu menu 
will be showing up right after the export buttons here or if you put your L letter right before the B letter your page length menu options will be showing right before the export buttons right here okay so basically we are we are all done with the export buttons and you can you can see your uh, export buttons 